just not having those prayers on my behalf, um, I'm going to be much more vulnerable, uh, for sure. Just uh, the, the loss that it would represent at that level alone. Um, <clears throat> um, the faithfulness of my father to study the Word of God with us as a family every single day. Um, so having that priority and encouraging us, in addition to our family, um, worship time to also have uh, individual um, uh, Bible study time and to make that central to our um, our education as well. So that was another thing that I really appreciated. My uh, Well, one, that my father um, embraced children as a blessing from the Lord and not as little brats and, and as burdens, um, but as a blessing and um, that, you know, they had 11 children, they homeschooled all of us, um, that they were making that investment in their life, in our lives, they weren't just saying one thing um, to the people that they were ministering to and evangelizing to and living a different one, sending their kids off. <clears throat> but they were actually living it out before them. Um, I appreciate the, the um, humility with which my parents um, conduct themselves. They're frugal. Um, I mean, I had it much more severe than <laughs> the rest of um, the grace on down there, spoiled, <laughs> comparatively I re- I speaking. I remember us splitting <laughs> an apple. But... Um, you know, I, my, my parents, um, my, my father was a, an amazing steward of the limited resources that he had. He never was in debt. Never. Every home that he bought, he only bought it once he had all the money saved to be able to buy it. And no missionary was uh, realizing that. I'm sorry, not... No, none of the supporters here were thinking, you know, the Nichols, the, you know, with all those kids, they probably, you know, they're, they're moving on to the next city. They probably need to find a place to live. You know, Dad was planning years in advance. This is how long it's going to take to plant this church in this area, have it well established, move on to another place, have money saved to be able to buy that. <clears throat> And um, always tried to have a, a bit of property where us boys could be able to work. And that was another important thing. I think the city life is just devastating to boys in particular. It's one of the reasons why they're joining the gangs and because they've got nothing else to do with their time. Um, so you know, sit them at, send them off to school, sit the boys behind a desk taught by a woman, <laughs> compared to the girls, called failures, and then why are we surprised that, you know, or, or you know, given red